Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Kimmy and this is my world through my lens. I have been moving these past few months and although this video took way longer than I expected, I know that it's going to be worth the wait because we are going to one of the most unique rentals for a few days and it is absolutely going to blow your mind. This place is so popular, it's booked out years in advance, but luckily I booked my reservation back in 2020 and now the wait is finally over and the time has come to share one of the coolest properties that my eyes have ever seen with you guys. So I hope you are excited and ready to be uplifted, motivated, and inspired. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to go on life's journeys with us. Sit back and relax and let your mind wander in all of Quetzalcoatl's nest. Now, a few words from our host. Quetzalcoatl, it's an Aztec god. It means Quetzal, the bird, and Coatl, the snake. This place is magical because it combines organic architecture with nature. For example, the apartments you won't see in corners because he says we should not live in a square space because we were created in a round wall for being the closest to the nature, to the first space where you were created. In the woods outside downtown Mexico City, a serpent winds through the trees and up into the green hills. Those who stumble upon it might think that it's something out of an ancient myth, but those who went out of their way to seek it however know that they are gazing upon Quetzalcoatl's nest. When architect Javier Snocien was given the land to design another one of his masterpieces, he wasn't planning to build a massive kaleidoscopic snake's nest. As a believer in organic architecture, he simply wanted to build something to complement the land. When Snocian built an early model, he used pool floaties instead of rope to create the outline over the oddly shaped plot of land, which was defined by caves, canyons, and scores of trees. Noticing that the shape he built resembled a snake, Snocian recalled a quote from one of his architectural heroes, stating, Originality is a return to the origin. In reference of the Aztecs, the original occupants of the land that is now Mexico City, Sinocian decided to model a structure after the unique shape of a feathered snake god, Quetzalcoatl. He built the twisting iridescent form over six years, completing the project in 2006. Back then, the property was a 10-bedroom residential apartment with gardens and a huge park whose caves and ponds stretched over 44 acres. Since then, they have turned two of the apartments into short-term rentals, and that is exactly where we're staying today. We're going to give you a tour of the room, head to the outside of the property, and tomorrow we get an exclusive first-time look at the 44-acre park that is not open to the public yet, so stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing ride. Now let's go enjoy the magic. Gonna look good with the frame around it Like a dream come true, so glad we found it Sunshine through the window pane Hear music when you speak my name There's a rhythm of a life here in the moment So let's own it It's gonna be a good day It's gonna be a good night It's gonna be a good day With you by my side Do is wake up now. That's a bottle we can shake up. Shake it up, pass it all around. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be, gonna be a good night. So let's light this night like a Roman candle. 
you look so perfect, I can't stand it anymore I'll spin you around these stars, close enough I can feel your heart There's a rhythm of a life here in the moment, so let's own it It's gonna be a good day So here is a, one of the other things that I like to point, it's uh, the canyon starts here and the canyon will go uh, all the, through all the park, you know, okay. at some point the park was called the canyon. And uh, before, the, before construction? Yeah, yeah. And what would be the purpose of the park for the public? It get to know uh, like between a cultural space and natural space. Besides these uh, channels to gather water from the rain. Here at 
to the right we have restroom mm -hmm. and to the left is just a path to walk in between the bamboo. Maybe we'll find a panda. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. You'll see This is still the canyon that I show you up there, it's the can La Cañada. We came a lot to the Mexico City and we never know that they have this place. People live in the same neighborhood that they, they don't have know. no idea. <laughs> These days, they fill with color, they're sewn together, and now they're holding us. This place, like a painted vision, and now our intuition gives us hope of what's to come.
sendo o rio. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? it. All these flowers. The garden down there, you can go hang out. I mean, look at these. So I wanted to show you, so we'll go down this way and then we'll come back up. This just takes you in the middle of the garden. But it's got the color in here. What? It's like a cave. We were in the garden and we discovered this little tunnel and we decided to go inside and check this out. What? It comes out to the head. This way, and it leads into this whole
And the other side has a kitchen. No way. <laughs> yeah. Look over here. Look what we discovered. There's a whole meditation area. Really cool. Wow. In the middle of the cave. That's impressive. Well, you guys, what did we think? How did you guys enjoy that video? If you liked it, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, spread some good vibes, show some love. This is my longest video I've made. It took a while and it's just amazing to see elevation and growth within yourself when you really push yourself. I hope that you take a moment every single day to ignite the flame within you. And I hope you come back for another video. We will be rolling them out faster as soon as I get moved in and all settled. I'm excited to have you guys along on the journey. Thank you for supporting me. I love you. Go about your day. Give a smile. Give a hug. And all that you do, make sure you show some love. See you next time. How does it feel to be iconic? You want it, you got it, you're just getting started How does it feel to be iconic? You revive